right, everyone, welcome to Tonecast 102. So happy to have you with us both on YouTube and here on the audio version of the Tonecast. So simulcasting is continuing to go. We're excited to let you kind of see what's going on with the Tonecast, also hear it. Thank you for those who have been subscribing to the show. I'm Brian Porter, I'm here at the shop early morning trying to get uh, another episode out. So for those of you um, who have been following this show, thank you so much. We want to mention our pickup chooser as we get started. This is a simple form that you can fill out that uh, it's, it's a way for us to kind of get to know what you need as a guitar player. And then we're going to match a set of pickups to that um, based on what you, you fill out on this form. So some of what people have been filling out is like, here's my amp, here is my pedal board, here's what guitar I have. You can attach a photo of your guitar as well. So we'll put a link to that in the description notes for both the YouTube version and the, uh, the audio version. Don't forget to subscribe to the show if you're traveling. Great way to listen to our content. Um, this has been a fun journey. Um, this year has been very crazy for us as a business, a lot of transition, a lot of change. And so today I just wanted to jump on the microphone here and talk a little bit about kind of the gear industry and the economy and kind of the intersection of of how those things affect each other. I mean, we're all looking at the economy, we're all looking at um, you know, the potential of some things changing. There's lots of predictions about crashes and our money and inflation and things like that. And we've seen over the last few years that used guitars prices have gone insane. I mean, I've been looking at um, you know, Tom Anderson or Sir guitars, you used to be able to buy them for well below $2,000 and used ones with a ton of damage are kind of in the mid 2000s range, which is super crazy. So we're seeing the prices of used guitars going up. I'm starting to see a little bit of a slowdown in terms of the, you know, maybe there's a top at the used guitar market that's starting to come down. I'm hoping that's the case as someone who loves buying guitars and loves looking at guitars on eBay or Reverb, um, you're seeing maybe the top there and you're kind of seeing some people, you know, maybe listings are being on there a lot longer than normal and that, that could be a good sign for us as, as guitar players. Maybe for those who have had guitars and realize they're worth way more than they thought, um, this could be a bad sign if you're if you're trying to flip guitars or or the music stores have been being able to sell used guitars near what they used to be new pricing. So I'm seeing that a little bit. Um, I'm concerned a little bit about, um, and like in every industry in the real estate and in um, the auto industry, is just the supply chains are are continuing to wreak havoc in different areas. I mean, we experienced that with our gatekeeper line of pickups. Uh, there was a three month, four month period where we couldn't order them, we couldn't get them manufactured. And this was the, one of the reasons we launched gatekeeper was to have a import line of pickups that people could afford that, that were only 99 bucks a set. They sounded great. Um, realizing the, the world was changing rapidly with the virus situation and and having a set of pickups that people could afford and still upgrade their guitar, even if money was tight. A lot of people we knew lost their their gigs. They lost um, kind of the side revenue that they use for gear. So we're hoping that that, uh, that trend continues. It's it's definitely been very interesting looking at that. Um, I feel like we're in a interesting time as a business ourselves. We have been pivoting in a couple different areas in terms of becoming more of a supplier for parts of, for pickups and things like that. We're trying to continue to adapt and to change that, um, you know, just being creative in this world that is ever, ever changing, rapidly changing. Our dealers have, uh, you know, been ordering still, but things have been slowing down in the, in the retail world for us as a manufacturer, whereas other companies it's ramping up. And so the, the nature of our business is very difficult uh, in the sense of, you've got to perform surgery on your your you know your guitar to put our product in there it's not as easy as a pedal or or you know just buying a guitar in a, in a sense you've got to know what you're doing many people will have to you know spend a couple hundred bucks on a set of pickups and then pay someone else to install them so it's good time to to start thinking about maybe learning how to do installation and things like that so as we look forward i'm i'm really curious um to know your thoughts as uh guitar players, anything that you've seen for those watching on YouTube. I'd love to have some comment interaction back and forth about kind of what you think about the gear industry and where it's headed. I'm definitely seeing a need as our business to diversify kind of what uh, what we do for revenue and we've already been doing that over the last few years, but 
some product lines have gone away, some products are being added, and just trying to look for what's going to stick and what's going to kind of build everything up. And one of the challenges as a as a company, we've talked about this before, but one of the challenges is just the the price of materials continues to go up. It continues to raise. It continues to to climb. Cost of living here is insane. So that that also puts a lot of pressure on how we pr go forward. Um, there's definitely as a business, you're looking at how do you take risks? How do you, you know, you put your kind of couple eggs in this basket and some in this basket and hope hope that one of those sticks. I mean, there's definitely a lot of uh, a lot of crazy changes coming in that area. But what we're trying to do is really look for ways to continue kind of our mission of inspiring players and fitting into the industry, which is um, I would say just a lot more complicated. That's that's kind of my take on it. Is things are more complicated than they were before. Uh, the supply chain issues can cause a trickle down effect, whether it's magnets, whether it's copper wire, whether it's, um, you know, someone's buying import guitars and the import factory has to be shut down for, for COVID stuff. So it's, it's been very, you know, many of the, uh, the gear company owners that I've talked to, it's been very challenging, very, very much like you're used to changes happening over the course of a year, but, uh, many of us have had like a year's worth of changes in only a month and and this keeps kind of coming so that that kind of wears you out as a business owner but um, we're, we're continuing to drive and keep the inspiration alive as, as we go things have definitely been a lot more challenging you know across the board and trying to piece it all together but uh, we definitely love what we do and want to keep it rolling and we're excited about the products that we're creating and, and the products that we make and love hearing your stories of putting our pickups in and and loving the sound and being inspired to keep playing guitar and and I think that as the industry industry progresses I hope more and more people pick up guitar and they want to play guitar and as as times get crazy I know in the past you know life gets crazy maybe you put the guitar down for a while maybe you are um, you know just taking a break from it don't do it um, I'm talking to myself as well you know things get hard things get crazy with with business we want to also remember to play guitar remember to stay inspired and that's that's kind of the way that we've been approaching um you know in individually in the shop always working on projects and be like hey go out go out to the showroom play guitar that kind of stuff and um, that's just kind of a, a rapid fire look at kind of where we're at right now and it's uh, things are things are good things are strong with the business it's um it's been more complicated in the sense of as we look forward there's a little bit less predictability i know that uh Several people have asked us about the NAM show. Are we going to the new NAM show? Um, we are not going to the new NAM show this year. It's a little bit soon in the timeline of where we want to be um, as far as going and traveling and doing shows. And and I'm really curious. I really hope that the NAM show does well. I hope it comes back. I hope a lot of people go and it's, it's um, successful for those who attend and those who have booths and spend all the money that it takes to get there. I hope that that the industry can kind of get the ground floor rolling again. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that are moving, um, but I want I want to see that. I want to see some of the industry parts come back and more people playing gigs and and live music's been coming back uh, strong here and that's been really great to see. Uh, a lot a lot of local uh, festivals jumping back in. You know, live music's happening in the in the restaurants and the bars and all that and and that's great for us because it's all a trickle down effect to. To music and kind of our small part in the world of how we help music. So, I'm, I'm optimistic about where things are going to go. I I'm not really going to be in this camp of just worrying all the time, um, but I need to be aware of what what may change and what may shift and adjust. And this has been, you know, a little more complicated than normal to to run a business in this last couple of years. I think uh, I think I've gotten a few more gray hairs in the last few years than that I did in the previous, uh, you know, probably 10 years of running this business, but, but, uh, we're continuing to strive and, and those who, you know, send us little notes about, Hey, we appreciate the set of pickups you made for us and really love the, love the guitar that I got now even more because we put the pickups in. That's, that's what keeps us going. That's what really, uh, excites us about Porter and about the future of Porter. We have a lot of really cool things kind of working behind the scenes that I'm really excited about. Uh, big projects that kind of take a long time to to see come to fruition, but that is kind of our our future and kind of the way that we're looking at the industry and 
And we want to use this podcast platform to be a little bit more real and more, more honest in the in the struggles. I think a lot of people present things as as hey, things are just perfect right now, and they've got this beautiful Instagram uh, you know image of their company, and everything's great. Um, but it's it's always a challenge. Every month the uh, the clock restarts on uh, you know restarts on making making the amount of money that keeps the run get the ship running, and and that goes over and over and over again. So. For those who have supported us along the way, we really appreciate that. Um, we can't say it enough. We think we say it pretty much every show and a lot of videos. Um, we kind of give the thanks for the support, but we truly mean it. It's very cool to have um, this this level of, of support from people and guitar companies and, and people that we work with, and we love it. We love doing what we do, and man, we got a great crew here. Really excited about the future of, of, of Porter and the way that we fit into the guitar industry. There's a lot of really exciting projects that we're working on. I can't really share a lot of them right now, but these are these are great things that you'll see around the industry, hopefully, and and we'll be a part of those. Um, you know, some some maybe a little more like longer term vision projects, but um, there's a lot of cool things coming. I'd love to have some interactions, some comments. Um, if you have comments or questions about our company, or or even about like I know a lot of people ask me and. And others about you know how do you start a gear company or or what kind of uh, things does it take to have a gear company and that's been you know we don't consider ourselves experts but we've been doing this long enough that um, we love kind of uh, helping as much as we can in that area as well so if you have questions about that or questions about our company just kind of like hey how's the last you know last year been what have you guys done and just kind of trying to get creative as we go forward um, as the economy goes you know, who knows what direction it goes. Um, I know here we have a housing issue um, in terms of cost of living. It continues to rise at a pace that, you know, is, is a couple hundred percent more than the previous kind of block of time, maybe the five year, five year market. It's just been, it's been crazy. So looking at kind of how that affects pricing and how we go forward. I mean, it, there's doesn't seem like a very clear solution, but what we want to do is just keep going and keep keep driving, keep grinding, uh, shipping a ton of pickups every week. And, and you guys have been fantastic to, uh, to help us out in that, uh, that realm of things. And so we're excited for that. We're excited for some of the new product demos, some of the new, um, yeah, just, just new development stuff. We have, I've got probably a sheet of designs that I would like to release at some point this year, but, um, we're excited about that. Some demo stuff or, jumping in a couple new projects that we'll continue to share over time and and yeah flying solo today marco's on vacation so i'm covering the tone cast this week but uh appreciate you guys listening love uh love having you be a part of this show thanks to those who have been buying our tone cast merch we've had some shirts going out this week and you know if you like this logo behind you we've got a tone cast um, coffee mug we have a tone cast t-shirt that you can purchase as a as a way to support this show uh, we really appreciate that. Um, we're not going to then ask for monthly support, but buying a shirt is a great way to uh, to kind of keep some extra revenue coming in for the time that we spend on this. So we appreciate your your just dedication to that. Uh, thank you so much for, for kind of being in our world. And if you like this format, I know the video part of this format's very kind of unofficial, but that's the plan is we just want to keep the camera rolling as we record the audio version that was as well. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Porter Pickups. If you're finding us on YouTube, you're already here. Make sure you are subscribed. Don't forget to download the podcast as well if you want to take it on the road with you, if you want to listen to it at work and anything like that. Uh, if you have suggestions for future show topics, we're always open to that. We've got probably about three or four interviews lined up over the next uh, maybe a month or so, a month and a half, and I'm excited about kind of bringing more people that we work with and kind of having the gear conversations and all that. So thanks so much for your support. Thank you for being a part of the Tonecast and man, just uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for, uh, for all you do for us. And, and we appreciate you guys who watch this um, and we'll catch you guys next time on episode 103. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.